man, if you see this stuff now, they got the even Snoop Dogg doing this commercial about some doorbell thing with a camera, like people stealing the packages off your porch. Now look here, somebody come up on G's porch to ste steal a package, and you figure because you think a thief because the your little doorbell go <laughs> that they ain't gonna pick that package up. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm waiting on somebody to do that. Look back at the camera and go. <laughs> And hold the package up and walk away with it. What is it going to do? If it ain't shooting a laser beam out, you know what I'm saying? Or a, a tractor beam from Star Trek, you know, hold you to. <laughs> I guess it's just supposed to uh, deter people. It's like when you walk into a store, you see a security camera. Yeah. You know, you can still steal some stuff, but, you know, most people. Yeah. Man, a lot of people that shoplifting in the stores, they yeah. know the cameras is there. They trying mm -hmm. to defeat the system. No, I was just going to say, but that's another reason I, I talk about Linux, because they have a lot of open source software that you can install on a Raspberry Pi, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's a mini computer, a single board computer where you can do all this home automation stuff, which is basically what you guys are talking about. The mm -hmm. Nest and all that stuff is all home automation. Uh, but they have software out there that'll allow you to set up your own personal security service, or you could put, not the whole ring thing, but you can put sensors throughout your house that turn on and off your lights. You can actually talk to it just like Alexa. They have a uh, software for that and then record with video. So I'm sorry. Y'all go ahead though. No, no, nah, nah, that's, 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 nah, that's exactly what the stuff does. I think mm -hmm. the appeal to a uh, ring doorbell and, and things of that, you know, ring doorbell, you can get it to where all the videos are stored on their cloud. If you ever need mm -hmm. to access them and then you can tie it into your local police department. You know what I mean? Because, you yeah. know, if you build it yourself using your own equipment with the Raspberry Pi, I don't know. I don't know if you can uh, yeah. have service established with the police department if you want to call the, the police if somebody's mm -hmm. trying to bring it to your house. But with Ring, I know you can do that. So, but, you know, all the stuff he's talking about, you can learn on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, they literally teach you all the stuff on now, YouTube. You got to filter through the bullshit on YouTube because yeah, there's yeah. a lot of bullshit artists that's talking shit and they ain't, get, ain't bit more got a clue. And then I, but, I saw somebody said they want to learn how to build a desktop. There's like a gazillion videos on YouTube. Hell, you can watch one of my videos on building yeah. a desktop. And here, here's the thing. It's, it's not complicated because you got videos from like kids as young as 12 years old walking you through computer builds, how to build mm -hmm. gaming systems, how to build, how to optimize your computer if you want to be a, a live streamer. All this information is out there, man, on YouTube. Yep. Just go out there and watch these videos. You can you'll be amazed at the stuff that you think is complicated until you see a 12 year old doing it. You're like, hold up, why is this 12 year old doing it? I'm 30 years old. You know what I mean? You know why <laughs> kids can do it better than than adults? It's a cognitive dissonance thing. We've all heard the phrase, I'm the old, I'm I know I'm the old guy. Pure is the mind of a child. Children, like children, most children don't have a filter. Daddy, she's fat. You know, you gotta be, you, go, you know what I mean? Ew, he stink. You know, kids, little kids don't have a filter. Mm. They haven't been painted with the right, wrong, left, right, pro, con, conservative, liberal stuff yet. So it's it's easier for them to to do that stuff because kids is binary, zeros and one. They're off. They're on off until they start but then as you start growing up and girls start recognizing boys and boys start recognizing girls that binary code then just gets scattered all the freaking <laughs> gets get up with little kids you see, i see little kids sitting there with a tablet playing yeah. their game doing a abc the efg and all this other good stuff but then you look at the big kid that's in the 11th grade doing his class online because of this covid shit and he can't concentrate his hormones fucking with him he thinking of his he worrying about what his friends gonna think about his new pair of sneakers that his parents got him you know what i'm saying i ain't got the fresh cut because the barbers they worrying about all kind of stuff like that six-year-old seven-year-old eight-year-old they don't give a shit you know and they get mm -hmm. this and and not to go too far off the rail that's why star wars even play that what they say because remember anakin they it's like he's too old to become a jedi because even though he was a little boy they want him when they're little before they have all them preconceived notions of all that other stuff is easier for them to absorb binary zeros and ones don't try to bend the spoon that's impossible only recognize the truth and what neo say what truth there is no spoon yeah. and you know because kids kids get it 
Yeah, and, and that, that's a, that's a great point because you know with any subject, like let's just say you want to teach your child how to speak Spanish. If you can start training them how to speak Spanish by the time they're like three or four years old, they'll pick it up like a like they came out the womb hearing it because their brains are still trying to make the connections and it's easier for them to uh, digest the information. Because, you know, with my son, he's six years old. He's had a smartphone in his face ever since he was like three years old. Now, it was initially we gave it to him as a means of distraction. Just yes. To yeah. Entertain him. I done the same. While he was doing it. He was learning how to use the phone at the same time to where now he knows how to use a laptop. He's six years old now. He knows how to use a laptop, iPhone. I mean, he knows how to do all this crap and hang up on you with the quickness. But <laughs> even though it's just a medium for entertainment, it's still developing an impression in his mind at a young age about technology to where if I started pushing him towards learning more about IT, he'll probably be more inclined to want to learn how this technology works on the back end as compared to my oldest son, who's 15. When he was born, the iPhone wasn't out yet. The iPad wasn't out yet. So mm -hmm. we didn't have these gadgets to throw in his face like that. But so now it's a little bit more of a struggle with my my oldest son. But I guess what I'm saying is when it comes to the babies out there, for those of you who might have kids and you want them to learn this stuff or whatever, introduce it to them as young as you can. Whether regardless of if they have it at the school, you can go to YouTube and introduce these concepts to them. You can you can go to YouTube. You can go, there's all types of resources out there because like I say, this stuff is only going to become more and more ingrained in our society as as the days and, and weeks and months progress to where your kids are going to be having to deal with this. And like I say, you go to some of these affluent areas and whatever city you're living in, go look at the curriculum that they're teaching their kids in these affluent schools. These kids are learning all types of STEM stuff. If you don't live in that area or you, got, you live in one of these quote unquote black side of town with the black school and the black curriculum, like we all know the stereotypes about that. Dude, your kids are going to get left behind, man. But I don't want to say that to scare you, but this technology could be the great liberator or the great changer. If you know you learn how to use it and apply it, your kid or you can be the one that moves up and changes yeah. the direction of your family, you know, just by learning this stuff at an early age, you know? Yeah. And and I wanted to hit on that as well. Uh, I always make this statement because both of what you guys said, you know, this ties into what I what I typically say a lot of times that my son is 13 years old right now and he's taking programming classes. So that should put it in perspective. I mean, he making, beats? Uh, he making beats. Yeah. Too, ain't he? He yeah, making beats. <laughs> <laughs> he make beats work with his dad. No. You got to do this, son. Nah, but um, they learning programming at a very young age now. And my son was going to school online before this pandemic. Both of my sons and uh, my oldest one. He just in this grade, he just started a programming class, and he took that. Uh, that was one of his electives. That lets you know, you know. That's going to be kids coming out pretty soon that already have an understanding of of programming, you yeah. know, once they get out of high school. I mean, but I answer that question if you want. To, oh, go ahead. No, I don't know what it, I don't no, know. I was just going to say I was just going to say, look at Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook. He was yep. the youngest billionaire in the world at the time. Right. He yep. started Facebook when he was like 22, 23. Mark Zuckerberg been coding up computers since he was a, a preteen. Like if you go read his background, he had his dad was a, a dentist or something like that. Mm -hmm. He had coded up some communication thing for his dad's dentist office. And then that just, you know, led him into, you know, going to Harvard, dropping out and creating Facebook and all this other crap. But he was really young when he did that. He got introduced to it at an early age. And these tech people. A lot of the, I don't know if you notice this, but they're getting younger and younger. A lot of these tech gurus that you see coming out, they're not 40, 50 years old. These dudes are like teenagers and, and in their 20s, man, out there dominating. So why can't your kid be the next one? Why can't your kid yep. develop the next app that, you know, when it when it when it goes on the stock market, and it opens up as an IPO. You know, they become an instant billionaire like the people who made Snapchat. Or why can't they invent the next program that a company like Google comes out and buys for four billion dollars? Like like the the two college kids who made YouTube. In case you guys don't know the history of YouTube, mm -hmm. it was started by like two 20 year olds in college who just made a website out of boredom because they want to make some videos. Uh, Google came around and bought them out for like two, three billion dollars. And now look at how YouTube is now. So why can't your kid be it? We used to and, use Mosaic back in the day when I was a youth. We use Mosaic. And then uh, what's her name? K KJ Mighty said, I envy the kids learning to code so early. You know, coding might become like uh, learning a language, like like you're taking Spanish. When I was in high school, I had to take a Spanish class. It might get to the point where, because, you know, coding, you're literally learning a language. You're literally learning how to talk to a computer in a certain language. The same principles at the end of the day, apply for when you're trying to learn Spanish, French, or some other language, uh, other language or whatever. So you can learn it too.